Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. I think it's actually good afternoon. Good afternoon, Lisa. <laughs> good afternoon. Time has flown already. Yes. Blake Seven and the Gans Brain. Yes. Is that like Spock's brain? But it's very like Spock's <laughs> brain, actually, yes. Otherwise okay. known as Breakdown. Yes. Or, if you believe the Maximum Power book, the Japanese adaptation of the episode is called Happy Man Gan Crazy Head Explode Time. Okay. And it says, Mr. Gan keeps having headaches. Tablets do not help. Headache strips do not help. A drink of water does not help. Super fun oppression squad must travel to the dangerous future, future heart of the universe to seek out a cure before metal tentacles burst out of Mr. Gan's robot head limiter, leaving him crazy. Okay. Uh, the Japanese adaptation, um, mm. all the male voices were done by Robert Reedy. Mm -hmm. All the female voices were done by Miriam Margulies and the voice of Jenna was Morris Denham. Okay? Now you know. Right. Okay. We're in space. We're in space. And so's Dudley Simpson. Yes, there are planets. And there are lots of planets. And a sun. All, all bunched up together, mm -hmm. like the planets we've seen before. Mm -hmm. uh, Gan is, 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 is driving. Yes. Well, he's not. He's just sort of... Pressing. Pressing stuff. He's... he's I want to know whether space like driving rules means get mean Gan has to put L plates up. What? Because he's a learner. Because he's a learner okay, driver. Yeah. Does he? Does he have to nip outside <laughs> in a space suit, a space suit, a space suit, and put a little <laughs> stick a little L plate on, then perhaps, take perhaps it off they have again? Perhaps have to get Zen to just project an, an L. Okay. And, you know, but he's driving. One. But he's having a twinge, isn't yes. he? He's got. He's got yes. a bit. He's got a bit of a ooh mm -hmm. in his head. Yes. Um, he, he clearly had too much beer or something the night before. Um, but they're in a sort of meteorite storm. Well, they, they go into a meteorite yeah. storm. And manual override is now required, says mm. Zen. He's useless, isn't he? He is useless. You think you just, just switch into it. Yeah, he, he <laughs> go, oh, should I go on to... No. No, we'll just go into the... Into but the Jenna comes in and storm. takes over. Mm -hmm. But Gan's gone all funny. Yes. And uh, he grabs her from behind. He does. If you'll pardon the expression. <laughs> and the desk wobbles like crazy. It does, yeah. Then Jenna slam. Yeah. As Gan slams her on the, yes. although the stunt lady seems to like bend her knees when she does it. Possibly. Yeah. Mm. Um, so I just put now Gan drag woman, mm. and it, with the second occurrence in this season of, yes. of, of a, a lady being dragged along the floor. Yes. Um, but yeah, this is obviously a flashback to mm -hmm. how Gan used to treat his woman on a, right. on a special night. Mm -hmm. um, Gan and everybody has a fight. Blake mostly, but then everybody yeah. piles in yeah. after a bit. Um, it's all sort of handheld stuff. Yeah. And it's it's Via Lorimer directing. It is. I thought it, it was Michael E. Bryant because yeah. of all the handheld, but mm -hmm. it's not. Um, you get a lovely shot of the overhead lighting briefly. Yes, yeah, you do. Which is mm. nice. Uh, but yeah, everybody sort of jumps on Gan mm -hmm. and he sort of throw, tosses them a sort of a bit and then mm. they get the medical kit with the... Tra although they do start bashing him over the head with a box at one point. Yeah. Um, yeah. They get the tranquilizers and Avon says it's his limiter implant that's... Um, you know, playing up. Playing up. So mm. you take him down to the surgical unit, which appears to be on film. It is on film, yeah. I was going, what's wrong with the frame rate on this yeah. on this DVD? But it's ha actually film. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, yeah, the, uh, there's some brow mopping skills mm -hmm. sort of going going on. Yeah. On. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, there's inflammation around his limit limiter. Mm -hmm. And he keeps doing a sort of... Mm -hmm hand clutch thing yeah although later on when it goes a bit it sort of starts to turn into emu's beak <laughs> <laughs> like Gan, gan's dreaming of emu yeah. and he, he thinks he's rod hull and he's going to sort of grab jenna around the throat or something okay again so that's what's going on uh but they uh, to sort of secure him mm -hmm. they've got these like three clamp things mm -hmm. and i laughed at first because i thought well they're not going to fit him gan's mm -hmm. not that fat yeah. and you know i know he's got a bit of a belly but mm -hmm. You know, it's about sort of three foot above mm -hmm. him. But then they switch some. And then it's got a for, and I, I say it's got a force field. Yeah. Uh, thankfully. Mm. Anyway, um, Avon sort of checks all the systems, and there's mm -hmm. no damage in because of the fight scene. But if it's the limiter, what are they going to do? Mm -hmm. It's going to require neurosurgery. Mm -hmm. And they come up with a great idea. Could Zen help them to do it? Yes. You know, like sort of attach clamp A to. Yeah. to Prong B and and the, right. and, and that then that does remind me of Spock's brain because right. Spock tells um, McCoy how to do the operation on Spock's on rewiring all all Spock's bits when his brain's taken out. I really mm -hmm. must show you Spock's brain. How does he do that if he's no, he, he, spe he, he attaches the the vocal circuits first on Spock so that Spock can tell him what mm. to do. 
Okay. Yeah, you should watch it. Um, th yeah, and but th this sort of struck me a bit that um, if you're talking about Star Trek, Blake mm. is very much Kirk. Yeah. But Avon here is, is very much like Spock being mm. in charge of all the sort of computery bits. Yes. So it, yeah. you start to see yeah. where mm. sort of the inspiration has come from mm -hmm. a bit. Um, but then they've got the, the, the sort of medical analyzer. Yeah. Thing and and I love the fact that it's clearly uh, Gan's posh voice. It's David Jackson doing the voice. Doing yeah. the voice of yeah. what's wrong with Gan. Yes. So if it's different people, yeah. if they plugged like Callie into it, would, would it Callie's would it be voice? Callie's posh voice? It's interesting, but you know, yeah. Yeah. Don't mm. know. Uh, but um, Blake gets a um, sort of several tools out to sort mm -hmm. of wave over his head, yeah. doesn't he? And you get uh, you get pictures on a screen. Mm -hmm. And there's a burnt out section on the limiter, so mm -hmm. they'll need a surgeon. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I said Gan's hand doing emu impressions. Mm -hmm. Then they get the plastic star chart out, yes. which is like on a stand. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's, it's very colourful, it's mm -hmm. nice that. But it ain't 3D, no. so it's not really a great deal of use. The moment you move about in space... Mm -hmm. That star chart is invalid. The whole point of a star chart yeah. is that it's where you are in space. Mm -hmm. So you can do a 2D one all right, but mm -hmm. if like you go like a couple of star systems up the road, it's all wrong. <laughs> Silly people. Um, but they're trying to find a place which has got the technology they need and is near enough mm -hmm. and isn't aggressive because yes. there's one place that doesn't like humans. Mm -hmm. And eventually they... Um, come up with XK-72, a space laboratory. Well, um, Avon does. Well, Avon does, yeah. Nobody mm. else has heard of it. No. Avon's sort of been thinking about hiding in there at yes. one point. Um, but it's in a prohibited space zone. It, well, it's not in a... It, it, to get no, to, it, to get to it directly, yeah. you've got to pass through a prohibited space zone. Yes. Danger, danger, Will yes. Robinson. And get, uh, Zen isn't having any of it. No. He, he's yes. saying, no, I'm not going through there. It's mm -hmm. the unknown. Mm-hmm. And I just put here be dragons. Yes. Like you used to get on old, old yes, maps. Yes, it's like a sort of bit of sea that nobody knows what's in it. So they just put a little dragon there just yeah. in case there's a dragon. But yeah, Zen refuses to go because this mm. would be a self-destruct order, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so they, they, they'll have to go on manual. Mm -hmm. um, but the moment they do, Zen goes offline. Yeah. It's really like... I know he's going on about this would be a self-destruct order, but mm. now they're still doing it. Yeah. It's like he's put his fingers in in his ears, going la 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 la, not listening, not, <laughs> not listening. Helpful, is he? yeah. Not helpful at all. So the screen goes off. Fortunately, mm. they've got a backup. Mm -hmm. um, there's some talk about who programs in. Mm. Avon sort of wants to know, and it will take thirty hours to cross the zone. Mm. Um, and with the computer control all being offline, it's, yeah. they're going to have to like adjust every knob mm -hmm. as Manually. they get, as they go along, mm -hmm. uh, which. They start drifting off course. The Liberator turns into a cartoon again briefly. That's not an effect. It's just mm. they haven't got the model shot. Um, but, yeah, um, Gan, Gan sort of um, wakes up a bit and starts making grunty noises. Yeah. More brow moppery from, from Callie. Mm -hmm. Then Avon starts fiddling in the computers, doesn't he? He does, um, yes. There's a signal on the detector. Mm -hmm. uh, and they keep having to, having to do adjustments, so the mm -hmm. speed keeps on increasing. Yeah. Uh, G Gan like, really does a proper sort of pig noise at one he point. He does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he goes quiet when Callie returns. He, he does. Yeah, because yes. um, she's gone out for a pee or something. I don't know mm. what. Um, there's a bit of jerkiness. Mm -hmm. um, um, and I said, why, why has Callie got her headphones on the table? Yeah, and she's listening to what's going on on the flight deck, isn't she? Yeah, I, I'm ashamed she wasn't listening to Round the Archives. But surely there's a warm... <laughs> there's a warm talky thing isn't there she doesn't know how to bring her headphones yeah but then she'd her. have to keep her finger on it the whole time okay all right maybe she's good at that but mm. yeah avon's having a spot of bother with the computers yes um and they're, they're going in an unstable magnetic field mm -hmm. gan sort of starts talking to callie and he says he's feeling all tired what's happening i'm all right i don't remember anything let me mm. out please yeah uh, help me sit up. Help me mm. sit up. I'm, I'm feeling a bit. Mm. Feeling a bit. It's normally yeah. Villa that gets fooled this way, isn't it? Yeah, but I put mm. Sly Gan. Yeah. And yeah, Callie is a bit dim here. She turns mm. the force field off and opens all the clamps. Mm. Then again, does a really sort of stage sort of <coughs> <coughs> like that. <laughs> so a glass of water for Mr. Gan. Yes. And she's going to put a pill in it or something, yeah. isn't, isn't she? So, uh, but Gan attack, mm. T 
table goes over. Yeah. yeah. Um, but Avon's sort of getting somewhere eventually, um, but there's no response from Blake when he tries to talk to him. Because mm -hmm. it appears they're going very near a space plug hole with some yes. red water going down it. It's like the Mandragora Helix in a way, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but red. It's the same sort of effect. What kind of thing? That's red, Mandragora Helix is blue with, with, oh, right, with okay. white bits of polystyrene in it. Okay. This, is, this is just like red water going down it. Like yeah, mm. um, I've got some red bath water that turns blue. Okay, it's, it's science. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Callie wakes up again and uh, Gans wander wandering up the corridor, clutching himself. Mm -hmm. He said uh, they're trying to get away from the plug hole. Callie comes onto the flight decks and goes, "Oh, Gans escaped! What? You let him out? <laughs> Doll? Yeah." Mm. Blake goes a looking for Gan. Gan manages to find the computer room, like mm. it's the only other room on the on the ship. Yes. I thought he'd have gone to like the costume room and tried on a few things, but I, that would have been good. <laughs> uh, nice little cocktail frock or something like that. But yeah, uh, Avon smash mm. from Gan, and then um, Gan Gan's going to bend the power links or mm -hmm. something like that. I don't know what he's up to. Um, and then they they do a big thrust mm. on the on the. Is it Jenna does a big thrust? Somebody does. No, it's Kelly oh. at this point, isn't it? Well, is Jenna's... it Kelly? Or... Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. Somebody does a thrust, mm. anyway, and Gan gets hit on the head, mm -hmm. and he's out for the count. The auxiliary computers are back online, mm -hmm. and they go straight through the middle yes. of the of the thing. Um, but a Avon doesn't like this and says he's finished, he's going to mm -hmm. walk out as soon as he can. Mm -hmm. uh, it did remind me a bit... Um, what's, the, what's the game show with... Um, Michael Barrymore, top, middle, or bottom. Oh, strike it lucky. Yeah, strike, or strike so, it rich. Yeah, which bit do we aim for? Oh. Well, middle for diddle, I put. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, there's some mm. shaky, shaky from Gan, mm. um, and the whole flight deck starts sort of wobbling a bit. Mm. And what appears to be like some the Christmas decorations from that they've left up there fall mm. down from the ceiling. Yeah. It just looked like a load of big baubles or something. I don't know what it was. I just imagine like sort of. Um, uh, sort of villa on a ladder, putting mm. up the Christmas decorations a mm. few weeks before, and they're, they're so far up they get, they can't be bothered to get them down again. <laughs> so, but yeah, they've all, and there's some mirror lawn effects, mm. uh, sort of stretchy mirror material, and everybody's yeah. sort of faces are in the, the, the liberators all warping and stuff. Mm. But they get through the middle, through the other side, hurrah! Some time <laughs> later, they're near XK seventy two. And um, this is some sort of neutral, supposedly, yeah, place, neutral isn't it? Yeah, space station, yes. But they say neutral can mean lots of things. Yes. So don't don't say who you are. Mm. Say we're an experimental ship from Earth. And I just mm. point, yeah, right. Mm. Um, yeah, is Avon going to leave? There's mm -hmm. a bit of a question mark over that. The model for XK-72 is not bad. Though what's mm. the relative size of the of the Liberator and the XK-72 model? I'm I not don't sure. I because they yeah. Because the camera is close to the to Liberator. The Liberator, so you don't get any set of scale, do yeah. you? So. I know the Liberator is big, but yeah. is it bigger than the space station? I, I couldn't I really tell you that know. for sure. No. There's um, no comparison shot. Then, then we get Julian Glover. Mm -hmm. Hurrah. Yay. Yeah. As Professor Kane, mm. and I put Julian Glover finally. Yes. Because as the guest star, you know, he's, he's the guest star this week. I know yeah. this is like Gan's episode. Yes. But uh, but all he gets to do is lay around and snore and, and be emu. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, Julian Glover finally turns up. Mm. Um, Blake teleports across. Mm -hmm. Now there's an administrator as well, yes. isn't there? Um, Taran. Yeah, who's the administrator? Is that he's, Ian Thompson? He's played by Ian Thompson. Oh, who is, of he's, the Web Planet. The Web Planet. Yeah. He's one of the Optra. Jumping up and down. An Optra or whichever one. Um, but yeah, the Blake teleports across mm -hmm. and then he uh, teleports... Kane back. Kane, Kane back. Um, and Kane starts saying things, oh, good old Federation, they yes. finally perfected the teleport. Mm -hmm. you know, well done, the Federation. Yes. You know, I knew you'd, you'd do it. And, yeah. Oh, hello, what's going on here? How yeah. neutral is he? Yes. Not very neutral. Not very neutral, no. Avon goes across to get the doctor's assistant. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll talk about him in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> then Julian Glover starts asking questions. You know, mm -hmm. Why has he got a limiter? You never get the answer, really, do you? Callie sort of has no. to... Well, because they cut away. Yeah, has to fudge because it. The, the it's, like, it's like nobody can think of a good answer yeah, to that. Um... Yeah. But the Doctor comes across, mm -hmm. Avon stays behind. Now, let, let's work out where all the teleport bracelets yeah, go in this. because he doesn't seem to take a teleport bracelet, but later on he has an extra teleport bracelet. Yeah, well, let's keep a count of those. Yeah. Um, are there any Federation bases nearby, Blake Arsene, you know, um, mm -hmm. just in case? Mm -hmm. 
And then here we go. <laughs> this this is. Uh, I do apologise mm. to you for for like this. Now I would point out for one thing, Jenna's t- changed her top, hasn't yeah, she? Yeah, Jenna's changed her pink top. top Nobody on. else is bothered. Now she's yeah. got a black top on. Yeah. And Blake, mm. see again, this is. Yeah. Questionable. He wants her to go and flutter her eyelids at <laughs> the doctor. He, he doesn't say that, but that's basically what he means. Yeah, but go and sort of flirt. Yeah, but the, but the moment um, Kane's assistant sort of claps eyes on mm. it's Jenna first, it's isn't Jenna, it? Yes. Hello, 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 ladies. Yeah. Is that a and pretty is, lady. Uh, I love girls with a sense of humour. Yeah. Like, even Villa rolls his eyes at that, and I do like that. That's actually what saves it, yeah. Because Villa's go. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, Avon offers his secrets to mm. uh, to the uh, to the base, mm. the secret of matter transmission and all that. Mm-hmm. Admit saying, well, what if I said it wasn't a Federation ship and it belongs to us? Mm. So long as the others are allowed to leave... I like the phrase unmolested as well. Unmolested, yes. Well, given this doctor's assistant, it might be a bit late for that. Yeah. Hey. And then he then he catches sight of Callie. Hello! I'm not this, a pretty lady. This ship is full of pretty girls. Yes. Like, you imagine, like, sort of, they're all draped. Yes. How long has he been yeah. on this space station and how sex-starved is he? <laughs> yeah. Or is there other girls on there and they've all just got sick and like, tired of off. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah... Uh, Julian Glover has worked out that they're against the Federation, which mm-hmm. he thinks resembles stability. Mm-hmm. So he just puts his feet up, basically, yeah, and he yeah. says he's going to delay the operation. Mm-hmm. He contacts the near, uh, nearest base um, well, gets, without gets permission. It's the space yeah. station to do it. Isn't and it? the yeah. pursuit ships are on the way. The administrator's mm-hmm. not happy about this. No. <laughs> With good reason, it yes. they? They're going to be here in three hours. Mm-hmm. Now, how does the radio work? Because I presume that the pursuit ships go faster than the speed of light, because mm. um, otherwise they'd be like forever to get there. I don't know. Um, but the radio ha- gets there instantly, mm-hmm. so the radio there must be some super amazing radio system to to get the message there in the first place. I've that's really, not. That's not to question. I've never really things. thought about yeah. that in the Federation, but mm-hmm. yeah, uh, never mind. Um, but yeah. Um, Villa's suspicious because mm-hmm. it seems to be taking so long, and he sort of sneaks over and gets a go. Why he does it in secret, I don't. Yeah. Because don't know. he, I think he thinks the others won't approve of what he's about yeah. to, to do. But but I like it. It's Villa yeah. being proactive yeah. for once again, and brave. Yeah, again, it's Villa not being as stupid as you think no, he is. No, isn't yeah. he's really as not as he pretends to as be. As he pretends to be. Yeah. 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 So. Um, Avon says he's got to go back and collect a few things. Mm. Um, so, yeah, suddenly he's got an extra teleport bracelet if yeah. he's given it to the other bloke. Yeah, because it looked like he just gave his one to the doctor's assistant. They finally put their surgical gear on. Mm. Then uh, then everybody starts turning up, don't yeah. they? Villa turns yeah. up first yeah. uh, with his gun. Mm. And then, then Avon turns up. Mm-hmm. 45 minutes till the pursuit ships. And they they're told not to move the liberator because mm-hmm. a, a single jog might, might kill knacker it. Can yeah. Yeah, and Blake then turns up as well. Mm. <laughs> I thought like everybody's cottoned on at once. Mm. And he, I do like the threat he gives. Yes. I won't kill you. I will destroy your hands. Yes. And clearly, that's that. That's more. Yeah. Yeah, and it's done. It's it's delivered very well because it's it's not a threat. No. It's just matter of fact. Do the operation. Yeah. Get it done in twenty minutes. If it's not done in twenty minutes, I'm going to smash And this your hands. preys on his mind in a minute. Yeah. yeah. Um, then you get a Operation Montage sequence, yeah. like the clock ticking yeah. and right. a w- wiggly lines mm-hmm. on the on the sort of display, mm-hmm. and Villa's gun and Gan doing emu, and <laughs> eventually it's finished. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're teleported back. Mm. Do they get to keep the bracelets? Well, it won't matter in it a won't minute. Won't matter in a minute anyway. But so. but yeah, so that's yeah. another two. Bracelets yeah, they've yeah. left. I, I, I can only imagine the Liberator self generates bracelets yeah. the way they go through them. And then the Liberator does a bit of a three point turn, doesn't yeah. it? You know, beat, a really beat, slow beat, one. Beat, they're all, all left a bit, right mm-hmm. a bit, up a, de- up a bit. Um, and uh, then Julian Glover and the Administrator have a bit of a Barney, don't mm-hmm. they? Um, damn your neutrality. And then he, then he strikes his hands, doesn't yes. he? Um, so, and then Julian Glover smash. Mm. He sort of pushed over the edge, isn't he? Yes. So he was all clearly a bit unstable. Yes. And I think the point that, that Terry Nation is making that he calls Gunn a psychopath. Yeah. 
and he regards them as criminals. Yeah. But he's, is he any better when yeah. he's put in that situation? It's to show that everybody is probably capable of doing it if they're in the right situation. Fair enough. Plasma bolts are launched. Mm-hmm. Um, the Liberator puts up the force wall. One mm-hmm. misses. Yeah. It heads towards the XK-72. Yes. And uh, I love the fact that they don't know what to do. I need an order. I need an order. Well, put the blooming shield up. Yeah. And then I put uh, Julian Glover looking at his hands. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Isn't then that blood on his hands. No. That's right. it should have been blood on his hands. And then I just put kablooey <laughs> as you <laughs> as you get a wonderful. <laughs> Sparky explosion mm, with bits flying with bits the going camera. off. Um, mm. So everybody on the XK seventy two is dead. Yes, totally dead. Yes, uh, the Liberator legs it. Mm. Um, there's a, there's a brief line about it, it not being funny, mm. and then we cut to everybody all gathered round Gan saying, "Welcome back, Gan. Mm. Welcome back." <laughs> <laughs> and yes. it's a real Star Trekky yeah. laughter ending, yes. isn't it? Which is. Very and, and apparently Gan's ears will light up next week, according yeah. to Villa. Yes. <laughs> so I, think I, that I should look out for that. Damn, I was looking forward to <laughs> get lighty up ears, Gan. But mm. never mind. But what, what do you think? It's all right. It's, it's an interesting episode. Mm. There's. I, 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 I I'd forgotten how much. I thought there was more at the space station. I I I'd forgot, forgotten. Yeah, but, yeah, I forgot. So much of this is just Gan clenching his hand. Yeah, it? and then trying to go through the swirly thing. Yeah. And... I could have done with more Julian Glover, quite yes. frankly. I mean, yes. Julian's great, and he, mm. you know, with the little he's got, he's very good. He is. But I, yeah. I think a bit more wouldn't have hurt. No. Um, but mm. yeah, there we go. Yes. Another one down. Yes. Okay. What's next? Uh. Bounty. Is it Bounty? It's Bounty. Let's look. Let's look in the book and see yes. if it is. TP. Uh, TP McKenna alert. TP. Mm. Right. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Mm. Bounty. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's there only three more left, isn't there? Yes. Okay. There we go. Mm-hmm. Well, that was uh, Blake Seven and the Gans Brain. Yes. <laughs> see you again soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.